So continuing our uh, LLM Live Object Model API study. So we got the get info from um, ID1, uh, which was sent to live object, which is the ID1 is the live underscore set ID. Right? So um, get info printed all these things in my previous tutorial that you can do. Right? So let's uh, try something. So you have uh, info property. Oh my gosh, so many. Uh, let's see. There is something called tempo here. So it says info property tempo float. So let's try. Oh, by the way, in um, the LOM, the Bible, the live active model, you can find it. I found it here, uh, tempo. And this is why I do this. Find, uh, get children thing. It's so hard to find. It's tempo is right here. It says flow get set observe. So you can current tempo or the live uh, set in BDM. So BPM. So here um, you can find it, but it's so difficult to find. So it says uh, get set observe. Right. So let's do that. Um, what? Get. Get tempo. Right. So I will send it here. Or I can just print it here. Let's see. Get tempo. Ah. Tempo is 108 right now. See that? So, okay, well, that's good. How can I change the tempo? Then it said get set, right? So set tempo dollar one, the lowest dollar one, x, which means x. So it did say float, but it seems like an integer works as well. So let's, I mean, Right, so right now it's 108. Let's change it to 60. Bam, see that I changed the tempo to 60. So you can scroll them, you can change them any way you want on the fly, which is great for interactive performance. So there it is. So let's try another thing. Um, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Um, I have, oh, yeah. Um, there was something called um, set uh, time signature denominator, denominator and numerator. You can actually change the time signature on the fly as well. So I'm just going to copy paste this. Um, set. I have to get rid of all this I don't need. OK, so int, so um, obviously. Um, I had to be. It has to be a number. Unfortunately, I guess um, for those more contemporary modern people, um, maybe you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> numerator. Okay, so numerator. Okay, so set numerator. So let's make this um, changeable as well by putting in dollar one signs and. Set signature denominator. Um, it's getting a little crowded here. Okay. I no longer need a print object, so. Okay, here we go. <coughs> so, okay, so let's change the signature, uh, time signature denominator to um, 8. See that? Just now it becomes 4, 8. I guess you have to say either two or four or eight or no 16 or that's it I guess uh, is there like a 32 no nope. ah it doesn't like it above six 16 so oh well uh, that's about it and I guess it's not very modern music, contemporary classical music friendly, but uh, anyway, so here goes. So let's keep it to four and numerator can be anything, I guess, one. How can I go up to, see it's changing here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How can I go up? I can go up, really? 
so the limit seems to be 16. Hmm, all right, well, so be it. So now I just did that, and you can have that, and you can change your uh, time signature on the fly this way. So let's say I started my piece with a um, 2, 4, like this, but I want to change this to 3, 8 in the middle of the piece. So how do you do this? Uh, I need to send uh, these number at the same time, right? So the old trusty unjoin. Remember the unjoin in my tutorial. I forgot the number. So I'm going to break this up, right? So go here and go there and bang. So two, four, four, three, eight, back to two, four, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one. You can do that kind of thing if you want. Okay, so um, that's that.